Hi guys, Mr. G here. I'm gonna get ready for our first session of our online training. Um, I got Mr. Smith here helping me out. Uh, so this is gonna be an exercise that anybody from the beginner level all the way up to black belt can work on for the next couple weeks. Um, we're gonna try our best to update every week with a new class. So just make sure that you guys follow along with our Instagram, our Facebook, and our website. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. So we're gonna do a quick bow and show position. Ready, class, shoot. Huni. Student creed. I will develop myself in a positive manner and avoid anything that reduces my mental growth or my physical health. I will develop self-discipline in order to bring out the best in myself and others. I will use my learning class constructively and defensively to help myself and my fellow man and never be abusive or offensive. All right, class, let's get ready to go. We're gonna get started with a quick circuit drill. So. These are all exercises you guys have done before in class, so it's not going to be anything brand new for you guys. We're doing 30 second exercises, and we're going to do six of them. All right? First one's going to be jumping jacks, then we're going to do plank, then we're going to do high knees, then we're going to do V-sit, then we're going to do burpees, and then we're going to finish off with a wall sit. We're going to do these exercises for 30 seconds each, and we're going to do two full rounds. So let's go ahead and get ready, okay guys? So we're going to start up first, Mr. Nico is going to be working on jumping jacks. Ready? Three. Two, one, and go. Very nice. Awesome work. Make sure you guys are following along. If you guys are getting tired, that's all right. Make sure you take a break and come back when you're ready. Awesome work. Good job. Keep the energy up. Good work. We've got about 10 seconds left. Okay, so if you want, you can pick up pace a little bit here. Five, four, Three, two, one, and stop. Great work, now we're gonna drop down into the plank position. I'm gonna join Mr. Smith here for this exercise. From here, we're gonna get started. Three, two, one, and go. Lock up that plank, make sure you keep your core tight, and keep breathing. Really focus on keeping that back straight. Try not to put your bum up in the air like this, or let your hips drop back to the ground. Keep it locked. We've got about 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one, and stand back up. Great work, all right, you can jump back in the center, Mr. Smith. All right, we're gonna get ready for the next exercise. It's gonna be high knees. So stick your hands out in front, now this part isn't as important, but the main focus is just get those knees up high. All right, ready? Three, two, one, and go. Great work, sir. Make sure you keep breathing. The hardest part about these exercises is remembering to breathe. The more tired you get is because the less breathing you're doing. Keep breathing. Good work, we're halfway already. Good job. Keep it up there, Mr. Smith. All right, class, we got 10 more seconds. Very nice. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Great work. All right, now we're gonna sit down. We're gonna get ready to go for our V-sit. So, Mr. Smith's gonna face straight ahead. I'm gonna turn sideways so you guys see what it looks like. It's right, so from here, we're gonna go 30 seconds of the V-sit. Ready, three, two, one, and go. Lock it out. The goal is to get your feet locked out like this. If you can't, you're having trouble balancing, that's okay. You can go ahead and bend your knees a little bit and just work on the pure aspect of balancing. If you want more of a workout, extend those legs out. Very good. I got about 10 seconds left. We're gonna keep breathing. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Great energy. All right, let's jump back up. We've got two more exercises now. This next one is gonna be burpees. I know this one's very difficult. Remember, the goal is you go at your own pace, okay guys? So if we're going a little fast for you, you can slow it down on your own at home. All right, so we're gonna start off first. This one is not going to include the push-up. So we're gonna bend our knees just like this. Ready, Mr. Smith? Bend our knees, hands go down, shoot the legs back, bring it back up, and stand up and jump. All right, ready? Three, two, one, and go. Good work. If you start to get tired, that's okay. You can slow it down a little bit. The main focus is just keep moving. Good work, sir. Awesome job. All right, halfway now. Now again, Mr. Smith, if you're getting a little tired, that's okay. You can 
slow it down to a little bit. I want to work on proper form. All right, five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Nice work, high five. Awesome job, sir. Now we're gonna jump over the wall. If you don't have a wall, you can always do the ISO squat version, but I'm pretty sure you guys have a wall at home. All right, let's spin around and get our back against the wall like this. We're gonna bend our knees. Now, if you need to, you can make that stance nice and wide, but you know what, if you want more of a challenge, bring it in nice and close, okay guys? All right, ready, go. Remember, back against the wall. Very good. Now your legs are gonna to start to shake. You're gonna to start to feel that burn in your quadriceps. Now if you feel that and it's a little too much for you, that's fine. You can always go up a little bit, rest for a second. And then when you feel it start to kind of get a little bit easier, you go right back down. Very good, guys. Awesome job. Keep it up. Got 10 seconds left. Nice work. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Nice work, you've earned it a one minute break real quick. Awesome job, sir, high five. All right, what you can do is you can grab a sip of water real quick, start to get your breathing back because we now gotta do that one more time, okay guys? All right, we got about 30 seconds left. So let's start to get ready. Get a water put back down. Towel off real quick, we're gonna come back. So we're gonna do the same exercises again, okay guys? Now if you can, put a little more energy into this round. If you're starting to feel a little tired, don't worry, we still got more stuff to work on, so you can always take it a little bit slower. All right, but again, everyone goes at their own pace on these exercises. All right, we're gonna get started in 10 seconds. Remember, we're starting up with jumping jacks again, okay guys? Five, four, three, two, one, and jumping jacks go. Great work, sir. Awesome job. Now again, at home, if you guys are trying your best to keep up with Mr. Smith, but you're getting tired, you can always go a little slower. Everyone works at their own pace. Great job. All right. Ten seconds left. Three, two, one, and stop. All right, back to plank position. Ready, sir? Plank position. All right, I'm gonna turn sideways for this one as well. All right, ready? Three, two, one, and go. Remember, keep that core tight, lock that body out. Halfway now. All right, five seconds. Four, three, two, one, and stop. Great job. Let's stand up, get ready for our high knees. How you doing, sir? Awesome, let's get our hands ready to go for our high knees. Ready, three, two, one, and go. Knees up. Great job, guys. I know it's time to keep working out there, okay? Good job, sir. Good energy, Mr. Smith. All right. Got about 10 seconds left. Oh, Jesus. Keep going, keep going. Three, two, one, and stop. Starting to get a little tired, sir? Mm -hmm. That's okay, right? You know, everyone at home, if you're getting tired too, you can always take a break for this next little section. But if you really wanna push yourself and challenge yourself, you're gonna finish off this exercise, okay? Now, we just did our high knees. We're gonna go back to V-sit position, all right, Mr. Smith? Let's get ready to go. All right, ready? Three, two, one, and go. Lock those legs out. Very good. All right, we're about halfway now. All right, five more seconds. Four, 
three, two, one, and stop. Good work. All right, let's stand up. Two more exercises now, guys. Burpees, back to the tough one again. All right, we're gonna actually have Mr. Smith turn sideways for this exercise, so you can see a different angle of it. All right, ready? Three, two, one, and go. Good work. Awesome job, sir. Now, if you're having trouble with the burpees at home, maybe your back's a little sore, you're having an issue with your legs, you can always slow it down a little bit, do a different version. What you can do, instead of shooting both legs back out at the same time, you can bring one leg out at a time. Then bring both legs back, and then stand up. You don't need to jump, okay, guys? The whole idea is the conditioning aspect, really keeping this motion going. All right, we got five seconds left. Four, three, two, one, and stop. All right, back to the wall. Last exercise, wall sit. Let's get ready to go. Three, two, one, and go. How are your legs feeling, sir? Uh, are they burning? Not quite yet. Not yet? All right, hopefully after this round right here, guys. They're starting to. Good job, sir. Good energy. He's definitely going to feel it after this exercise, guys. I'm sure you guys will, too. All right, we got about 10 seconds left on that wall sit. Take your hands off those legs, sir. Keep working it. It's going to be difficult. Hold it. Your legs are going to be shaking. Five, four, three, two, one. One, and stop. Let's give him a hand. Awesome job, sir. Great work at home too, guys. All right, high five, sir. Awesome job. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually finish off with a quick water break again, All right? Get a sip of water, come back, okay, guys? Got about 45 seconds to make that happen, and then when we get back, we're gonna start working on some wall kicks. The two kicks we're gonna work on today is gonna be a turning kick and a side kick. Most of these things you've done at home before, practicing, or you've done it in class. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through the drills, we're gonna do turning kicks first, all right? So we're gonna start off, just so you get a better angle of what's going on, we're gonna use this edge of the wave master here as the wall, all right? So Mr. Smith, come on up to that wall, sir. I'm gonna start with your left leg first. You're gonna take your right foot and you're gonna turn the toes towards the wave master. He's gonna put his right hand on the wave master for balance and support, all right? And his left hand's gonna walk up just like this, almost like he's still in the guarding box. So for the turning kick, we're gonna break it down. We're gonna do two sections, all right? So we're gonna start off, let's chamber that knee. Remember, on a turning kick, guys, you wanna have the knee pointing in the direction for the kick. All right, you might be a little too close. Let's actually shuffle away from the wall a bit. See how he's changed the angle now? Just like that. He's gonna curl his toes and straighten them out. All right, when I say one, he's gonna extend and lock out that turning kick. And when I say two, he's gonna rechamber. okay? Your hips and your legs and your butt muscles are gonna get sore after this one, okay guys? We're gonna do this 10 times. Show you, one extend, and two bring it back, that's one, ready? One extend, two bring it back, that's two, ready? One extend, bring it back, that's three, ready? Four, extend, and bring it back, ready? Five, extend, bring it back, nice work, ready? Six, extend, bring it back, ready? Seven, extend, bring it back. Eight, extend, bring it back. Watch this snap on the kick, ready? Nine, snap, and bring it back. Good work, and ready, last one, 10. Great job, let's switch sides, time to work the other side, okay guys? All right, from here we're doing this one at a different angle, we're gonna do it more straight on for you. He's gonna have his left foot now facing the wall, he's gonna have his right knee chambered. All right, again, if you're feeling you're too close to the wall, you can always push away a little bit. You wanna be able to lean into it, you don't wanna feel like you're stuck to the wall. Right, right hand comes up now, chamber that right knee, remember have that knee point where you want it to kick. All right, ready? One, extend the leg and then bring it back. Two, extend and bring it back. Remember to really focus on pointing the toes. Ready, three, and bring it back, very nice. Four, and bring it back. Five, bring it back. Six, and back, ready, seven, and bring it back, eight, and back, nine, and back, and 10. And back, nice work, sir, high five. Awesome job. All right, your legs might be feeling a little sore right now, your hips might feel a little, a little tight, so let's loosen up with the hip rotations. Let's do a couple each direction, just to loosen up the hips, because the next one's gonna be side kick. We all know how side kicks feel on the hips. All right, other way. Very good. Okay, we're gonna go up to the Wave Master again and we're gonna work this side kick setup. So you're gonna to wanna to set up almost the exact same. The only thing you're gonna do now is this bottom heel, you're gonna to wanna to turn it in the direction that you're kicking, right? It's got the arm locked up, 
Other hand's gonna be up towards his face as well. Now he's gonna chamber that leg differently. Remember, he chambers it, chambers it in tight towards the body, curls the toes back, and that way he can push the heel out of the target. So from here, he's gonna go one, extend out, lock it, curl those toes back. And then two, bring it back. Very good, ready? One, push it out. Two, bring it back. That's two times now, ready? Now bring it back. There you go, ready? Three, push it out and bring it back. Four, push it out and bring it back. Five, push it out. Notice he's locking that leg. This is the most difficult part, guys. And then bring it back, ready? Six, out and back. Seven, out and back, ready? Eight, now bring it back. Nine, and back. Last one, 10. Very nice, let's hop over the wall and do the other leg now. All right, he's now gonna set the left heel, pointing the heel out. He's gonna chamber the right leg now, and his right hand's gonna come up. Ready, one, push it out, lock it out. There you go, ready, bring it back. Two, push it out, bring it back. Three, push it out, bring it back. Four, push it out, bring it back. Ready, five, out and back. Ready, six, and bring it back. Ready, seven, bring it back. Eight, and back, nine, and back, last one, 10. Hold it out there, don't let it drop. And stop, great work, awesome job, sir. How the hips feel? Oh, not so good. Not so, not so good, they're pretty tight right now, so let's loosen them up again. Hip rotations. Now you guys are probably feeling your legs are sore, your hips are sore. It's important to loosen up in between these exercises, so if you feel like we're going too fast, you can always take a break again, and then jump back in wherever, okay guys? All right, other way. Very good. All right, now we're gonna go into our first fitness set. So we're gonna work on our push-ups, our sit-ups, and our deep squats. All right, so these ones are all gonna be the regular version of everything. If you're a beginner student, you're gonna do 10. If you're an intermediate, you're gonna do 15. And if you're an advanced or black belt, you're gonna do 20 for this set, okay? For the sake of this and Mr. You know, Smith not feeling still so tired, we're gonna have him do the intermediate version. He's gonna do 15 push-ups, 15 sit-ups, 15 deep squats. All right, so let's drop down, sir. Ready, push up position. All right, now, you can either count out loud or you can count in your head, it's up to you. Mr. Smith, I'm gonna have you count for yourself. Ready? 15 of them, go. Great job, awesome work, sir. On our back, sit up position now. Same thing. Let's actually get you to spin sideways on this one so they can see that proper sit-up. All right, ready? 15 sit-ups, go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Great work, let's stand up. Now we're gonna do deep squat position. Ready, feet up, or feet apart, hands up by your face. Ready, 15 deep squats, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Nice work, sir, high five. Earn yourself another water break. All right, go grab a sip real quick, and then come on back. I'm gonna explain the next drill so that you guys understand what we're doing next. So right now, Mr. Smith's getting some water. He's feeling very tired. I'm sure you guys are feeling tired at home too as well. So make sure you drink some water, take some deep breaths, get your energy back. All right, the next drill, we're still gonna be working on those two kicks. We're gonna work our turning kick and our side kick again. This one's gonna be a little different though, all right? At home, if you have a partner to work with, maybe you're working with your brother or your sister or your mom and your dad, right? If you have someone to work with, that's even better. If not, that's okay, we can adapt these drills so you can work them by yourself too. So, now, because I have a partner, we're gonna demonstrate the partner version first, all right? If you have a clapper pad at home, something that looks like this, you can do these drills too. If you don't, and you have one of these pads, you can use these as well. If you don't have any pads, but you have a couch cushion, or you have a pillow, you guys can use those too, all right? I'm gonna demonstrate with the pad first, and then I'm gonna demonstrate what you're gonna do if you don't have any pads at home, okay guys? All right, so we're gonna start off, left leg forward, hands up, sir. We're gonna really be working on our turning kicks. So the kick that we just worked on that wall, remember to bend the knee, point the toes, and snap that kick out. He's gonna start off, he's gonna turn this back foot. He's gonna keep his hands up and he's gonna point and reach his front hand out. This helps you measure, but it also helps line up your body for the kick. I'm gonna bring that clapper out and we're gonna do 
20 turning kicks on each side. But I'm gonna show you 10 with a pad and 10 without a pad, okay guys? Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great work. Now, if you don't want to go that fast, you can go much slower. It's okay. Now, next drill here. Same kick, we're gonna do ten more. This is what it's gonna look like if you don't have a pad. If you have a partner, you can use your hand like this. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine and ten. Nice work. Whew. He's got a strong kick. But if you don't want that person to kick hard, you can always get them to work on the controls. They can slow it down and just really work on that accuracy. We're going to switch sides now. Ready, sir? Right leg forward. Now, let's say you don't have a clapper, right? You don't have a partner. You're working at this at home by yourself, right? You can just focus on doing these kicks on a target. Let's say you're looking at something on the wall, right? You're looking at a picture on the wall. Focus on that picture and just use that as your target. So for the sake of this one, I'm gonna back up and Mr. Smith's gonna demonstrate that trail right there. Ready? Let's do 10 turning kicks. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, now we do 10 more, okay guys? And this is the last way you can do it too as well. If you have a partner at home and you don't have any targets and you don't wanna use your hand, you can even work this drill right here. This is control drill. So we're gonna go right leg forward, hands up. So he's gonna slide up and he's gonna do a turning kick lightly to my stomach. I'm gonna trust my partner and he's not gonna hit very hard. Ready? Go. One. All right, but you didn't hit me. You gotta make contact nice and light. Good, okay, now it's my turn. You ready? Slide up, light kick to the stomach. Ready, go. Back and forth. Good. And back and forth. Go ahead. And go ahead. Remember to keep your core tight. You never know if that person's gonna kick you really hard. Oh, no, I'm just joking. All right, hands up, kick. Kick, let's go, a couple more. Kick, kick, and last one, ready? Kick, kick, very nice, great job, sir. Awesome work. So for the next set, we're gonna be working side kicks, and you can do any of those drills with the clapper, with your partner, in the air, it's up to you guys, but I expect you guys to try your best to really practice and get better at those kicks. All right, so the next thing we're gonna work on is the side kicks. Let's go left leg forward, hands are up. Perfect, okay, so step behind side kick. You remember how that works, he kicks his front foot. So let's work this together, ready, front foot, step. Back foot behind, point your front hand and aim. That's the setup, we always wanna work that side kick, okay? So I'm gonna get that clapper now, and we're gonna work that side kick again. All right, ready, step behind, and side kick. One, now re-chamber, reset, ready, go. Two, shovel back, ready, three, very good. Four, shovel back. Five, reset, six, and back, ready, seven, and back, eight, and back, nine, and back, and ten, very nice. All right, other side, sir, let's go right leg forward, hands are up. Now this one, I'm going to get rid of the pad for this one again, and we're going to work the trust drill here, right, the control. He's going to do a nice light side kick to my stomach, and I'm going to do a nice light side kick back to him. All right, he's going to go first, ready, step behind him. Good, okay, now it's my turn, get ready. No, that was in your stomach, your elbow's in the way. So remember, hands up like this, trust your partner, ready, go. Good, arms up. Very good, look at that, good job, sir, ready? Good. Good job, go over there. Push, that's it, good work. Back and forth, let's do a couple more. Last one each. Very nice. Show positions here. Two. High ten. Awesome work. Time for set number two of our fitness. All right, ready? Drop down here, sir. Push up position. The next set we're going to work on is going to be wide grip. So I want you to go regular grip first, sir, Mr. Smith. So there's regular grip. To make it wide, just simply go one, two. Now that's wide grip. Okay, guys. Our push up position. He's going to do fifteen again. I'm going to count out this time. Okay, ready? And I want you guys to count along with me too, okay? So when I say one, you say one, sir. Ready? One. One, sir. Two. Two, sir. Three. Three, sir. Four. 
four, sir. Five, five, sir. Six, six, sir. Seven, seven, sir. Eight, eight, sir. Nine, nine, sir. Ten, ten, sir. Eleven, eleven, sir. Twelve, twelve, sir. Thirteen, thirteen, sir. Fourteen, fourteen, sir. Fifteen. Fifteen, sir. Nice work, sir. High five. Awesome job. Great work out there, guys. Let's get ready for our sit-ups now. This one's gonna be leg lifts. So I want you to turn sideways there, Mr. Smith. Legs are gonna go out straight, just like this. Now from here, there's a couple different ways you can have your hands set up. We're gonna have our hands up on our head like this, keeping our upper body locked to the ground. When I say one, Mr. Smith brings his legs up to here, and then he brings them back down, but he doesn't let them touch. Okay, ready? Two, leg comes up, then back down. Ready? Three, and back down. Four, five, can't hear you guys. Six. Six. Seven. Seven, seven. sir. Eight. Eight, eight sir. sir. Nine. Nine, nine sir. Ten. Ten, ten sir. Eleven. Eleven, eleven sir. Twelve. Twelve, twelve sir. Thirteen. Thirteen, sir. Fourteen. Fourteen, sir. And fifteen. Nice work. Let's stand up real quick. Now we're going to finish off with some lunges, okay, guys? So center up right here there, sir. He's going to start with his left leg forward. We're going to work one leg at a time. Now, if, again, if you are a beginner, you're going to do only five lunges on each side. If you're an intermediate, you're gonna do seven lunges on each side. And if you're an advanced or black belt, you're gonna do 10 lunges on each side. Okay, so let's get set up. Ready, we're gonna do seven, okay sir? Ready, one, two, three, four, five, remember hips four a bit more, ready? Six, seven, very good, other side. All right, one leg in front, so turn your hips. You want that back foot back more like that. There you go, sir, ready? One, two, three, four, and five. Got two more, ready? Six, and seven. That's it, nice work, sir, high five. How's your body feeling, getting a little tired? Yes, sir. You're doing great. So are you guys out there, awesome job, but we still have a little bit more to work on, all right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take another quick break. He's gonna get a sip of water, reset, get his breathing back, and we're gonna come back and work some punching drills, all right? So if you have gloves at home and you have pads at home, awesome, break them out, get ready to use them. But if you don't, we're gonna work some drills just like this. If you don't have any partners at home, that's fine, you can do shadow boxing style, which means you do the punches in the air, okay guys? But again, focusing on proper technique, proper extension, that's what we wanna see, okay guys? So, let's start off first, left leg forward, hands up. We're gonna do this shadow boxing version, all right? But of course, if you have pads and you have a partner, break those pads out, start working on them, okay? So let's go left leg forward, hands up. We're gonna start with our front punch. So again, proper extension, we reach out, just like that, other hand by our face, slight turn of the body, and we bring it back. All right, so let's work that, let's do that 15 times. Ready, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right, switch feet. Other side, guys. Hands are up, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Great job, switch back, left leg forward. Time to work our back punches now. Hands are up. Remember, back punch, just like a front punch, but you're gonna twist your hips and turn your foot up. So if you can see here, I'm gonna do the sideways, I turn my foot, my heel comes up. Be sure to not over twist because you don't wanna over twist and have your toes go on the ground like that. Keep the ball of the foot on the ground, okay guys? So ready, hands up, left leg forward. Time to work our back punches now, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Other side, switch feet, hands are up. Ready, back punch on this side, don't forget to twist. Ready, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Very nice, switch back, left leg forward, hands are up. Time to get ready for our turning punches now. Okay guys, turning punch, you wanna hit with the two big knuckles, but we're not gonna just reach our arm out and hook like that. We gotta twist our hips into it. So from here, we're gonna turn the front foot and the front heel's gonna come up. So as I twist, I reach out, I hook just like that. Then I come back, all right, let's work that. Ready, one, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Other side. Hands are up. Great work, guys. Don't forget to breathe in between these rounds. In through your nose, out through your mouth. Ready? And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Good work, sir. High five. Awesome job. All right, now we're gonna put a couple combinations together, okay guys? So let's go left leg forward, hands up. Let's put our front punch and our back punch together, okay guys? One and two, don't forget to twist your hips. It's gonna look like this. Front punch, twist back punch, okay guys? And the side view looks like this. Front punch, twist back punch. All right, we're gonna throw that 10 times each side, ready? And I wanna hear a loud ki from you guys too. So when I say one, Mr. Smith's gonna go, ah, just like that. All right, ready, hands are up. One. Too quick, you're gonna pull some. You don't wanna do that. All right, five more seconds. Four, three, two, one, and stop. Very good. All right, now we're gonna work one or another couple stretches actually, but this one here is one that people really kind of forget about. We're gonna work our hip and our glute. You did a lot of turning kicks and a lot of side kicks today, so you're probably gonna feel them. So we're gonna use, we're gonna take this foot, we're gonna line it up sideways like this. Now we're gonna twist our hips into it. 
and now we're gonna lean down on top, all right? You can control how much you're doing of the stretch by simply bending your elbows and lowering your body down low. Just gonna keep this lined up. Don't forget to breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. So another 10 seconds left. And stop. Slowly switch legs. Other side now. Line that foot up. Line your hips up. Elbows down. And go. stop. Very good. All right, let's slowly stand up. Always want to give your body time to kind of reset. You don't want to pop out, out of those stretches too quickly. All right, let's loosen up our hips, our knees, and our ankles again. So ready? Hands for hips. Big hip moves. Let's go. Hip rotations. Your full range of motion. Hips forward and all the way around. There you go. Other way. All right, hands on knees, knee circles now, knee rotations. Bend the knee and rotate it around to the left. All right, then same thing, going the other way now, rotate it around to the right. And stop. All right, let's go with our right ankle now, ankle circles. All right, other way. Not other foot, other way. Hey, that's okay. I know you're tired. You worked hard, sir. Ready? Other side. Left ankle now. And other way. Very nice. All right. Show position, guys. Class, you do. Awesome class. That concludes our class now. We're going to actually do the quick bow out. All right. So let's start off. Or not let's start off. Let's finish off with that bow out. Ready? Hands to our sides. Ready? Who are we? Mom. Master G's power team, sir. What's our quest? To be our best, sir. What's our goal? Black belt, sir. Around our waist and in our hearts, sir. Great works. Thanks for joining us, guys. Make sure you look out for our next exercise next week. See you then.